What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Ones Who Live, episode number five, the penultimate Hi. episode. We're coming off of a really emotional, but also very necessary episode, I feel like, between Rick right. and Michonne. Yes, it definitely it, needed it, to happen. It was very simple. It was essentially the two of them together in this really high-tech apartment building. And just essentially the whole episode was Michonne trying to crack Rick and break him out of the shell. And I mean, it was frustrating to watch because it's just difficult to see Rick in that position. Or watch Michonne get her heart broken over and over and over again. But like literally how I described the episode was breaking it down. It made sense though, because Rick has been in that state of mind for a really, really long time. I mean, dude chopped off his hand in order to try to escape and that didn't work. He's broken, he was broken down and it took a lot to get him out of that mindset. But by the end of the episode, Michonne was finally able to get him out of it. And what happens now? Yeah. Do they go off on a journey to get back home that isn't gonna be the same home that they have any idea about because Alexander is not what it was. Everything is different. Commonwealth is a place now where a lot of people are living and things are just a lot different. And we still have that whole Jada situation kind of hovering over all of our heads. Right. Where she left a file with some information in case of her untimely demise. But does she then think that Rick is dead or that they got away and then she spills the beans yeah. about Alexandria. I feel like that's like the biggest, I feel like that's the biggest thing now is him coming up missing. Are they going to think that he was on that helicopter that they ended up blowing up? Is she going to think that there's a plan in place here? Is she going to put things in motion that's going to hurt our people back home? That's like the biggest question now. Do they get back? And does Jadis, how does she respond to this? Right. What happens now? Because, again, she laid out a really big threat. If anything happens with Rick, if anything happens to her, she's going to put this in motion. And Which, like, assume he's dead, dude. Just let it go. Just I, don't need to start any stuff. So I feel like I've said it a couple different times why Jadis just can't like make a deal with Rick to like keep things on the hush hush. Because she After, wants him. Well, I, I don't I don't think that's that's not where I'm going that's with how, this. That's what I think. I think just as we watched Rick be so broken and just his idea of anything else just doesn't work. I think she's in a very similar mindset to where she's risen to this power in this giant organization where, I mean, she used to live in a garbage pile. Her life has always kind of had struggle. And the fact that she's in this position now, she's obviously had her brain warped to believe that this is the way and this is the only way. Right. I think a lot of it has to do with that and the idea that anyone gets out, they're going to tell, they're going to create problems. So whether it's Rick or anyone, I just think that she's in that mindset. It's been set for a long time well, that this is the way. If he's gone, who is she going to play mind games with? Right. Her, I mean, her control, all of that will be gone. So I feel like she's the biggest question now. And what happens with Rick and Michonne on their journey? Right. I mean, Rick finally found out about RJ, which was a really big moment. I love that. I didn't love his initial response. No. I just think he was kind of in shock and was like, wait, what? What am I supposed huh? to do with this information? Because I got to go back now. I, I think he was still in the I still have to go back yeah, mode. So 100%. I don't think he was. I think he heard her, but he didn't listen. Right. Right. For sure, which makes sense because, again, he was in that state of mind and it took a lot of Michonne to crack him out of it. Or and is it we the other way? I, he listened, but he didn't hear her. Whichever that works. You know what I'm saying? Yes. White man can't jump. It's that reference in there. Yes. You can listen, but you can't hear or you can't hear, you can't listen. I don't know. I get it twisted, too. But, yeah, I, I thought that was a really important, really well done episode. And where do we go now? Again, big question with Jadis. Rick and Michonne, you ready to see where we go? Mm -hmm. Let's go. A leisurely stroll. Rawr. Oh. What the? F oh. Game? I know. I'm like. I his name escapes me for a second. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Literally, Jesus Christ. Literally. Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven. What the hell? I love this. I love this. So we get a glimpse into seeing how Alexandria is? Question mark? Now I have to like rack my brain and be like, wait, where did we leave off with Father Gabriel? I don't remember now. Holy crap. I, 
That was one of, well, definitely like the last thing I was expecting <laughs> was seeing Gabe out in the wilderness. Wow. This is just... This it feels too good to be true. Feels like a dream. <laughs> Hot, tasteful nudes. Wow, nice. Love it. Yeah. Oh, dude. I love it. Ramen, baby, let's go. That'll definitely last forever. This just, this, just, this just feels weird. It feels it feels like something bad's gonna happen. Oh. oh, what? How convenient! They need to be able to cut weeds. This place looks very familiar for maybe it did on the outside. I'm not sure about the inside. They never had my name either. Never did like those. No Michonne, so. Huh? Yeah, see? <laughs> see. Hmm. Is this a terrible gift to bring to RJ? No one has ever once called him Junior. Oh, Don't put it back. I'll take it. You're bringing yourself back. It's more than enough. The brave man, huh? You are, more than ever. He might be ready for this. Very That's slick. Yeah. Is that who he is? Judith has a sword. They're us. I got you something. I think it was baking soda and spearmint. As requested. Man of his word. Only took a couple lifetimes. I was in love with my son's best friend. I didn't know what to do. Then you asked for that toothpaste. I was damned if I wasn't going to find something. You found your moment. Is this one? <laughs> you tell me. What'd she see? I don't know. Three Pines Cabin. You see that sign on the road? Looks like we found a place to stay for the night. Luck's holding up. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, it is beautiful that the journey they're on right now. They're going through some really nice spots. You know, I never let go. I denied it. I pushed you away, but I never let go. I didn't know. It was definitely hard to tell. I swear to God, Rick does not age very much <laughs> at all. The people from the people. Oh. People. Oh, what? The fuck? What? That's horrifying. She thank these folks. They get crusty like that because uh, of the steam vents calcified. Or... Whoa. They look pretty hungry. Oh. Are you kidding? Stay safe. Appreciate oh, the come the fuck on. Anymore. All of it. It's nothing personal. It's just the way things are, you know what I mean? I think it's worse by the hour these days. We could roll this back to you just saying thanks if you want. Hell no. What do we say? New shit presents itself. Always take the <laughs> You know who you fucking with. <laughs> now they have the guns. I'd like, I'd like to roll, do the roll back now. Yeah, dick. Promise us to leave people be. Why would you care about saving anybody's skin other than your own? You look after you. Anything else in this world? Fairy tale. You think? Very hard to think right now. Well, how about you just listen? Oh, shit. We saved you. And the sorry. people in danger of being killed. It isn't the helpers here. <laughs> I'll leave people be. Promise. Well, I was really looking forward to that. 
Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been assholes. Keep your promise, asshole. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna be a problem. <sighs> you think they would have made it? What if we hadn't come along? I don't know. Broken axe, low on bullets, three walkers. They made it this far and just like that, the sister steps in an old snare. Lucky for them, someone was nearby. Ah, Michonne's got a point. We didn't even think about it. No, it might be strange to admit it, but that felt good. That's <laughs> against the world. We're saving it. With a nice fresh bottle of Black Label. I feel like this is something's gonna be bad. Dude, you can't have something good without something bad. Toothpaste, booze. What are you up to, Grimes? I'm just working with what I got. There's no way they go all this way, get all this stuff done for one of them to not make it, right? Or for oh, them to both not make it. Don't fucking talk about that shit. Like, that's where my head's at, like... Yeah, see? Yeah, these fuckers are gonna do something. Damn, someone knows the trap. The fuck? Three years ago. Come, Holy Spirit. Bless this water that it may become your holy water. Gabriel. What? It's okay. I'm alone. Is it okay? Good question. Even if you are alone? Also good question. <laughs> That's a sight right there. Is this coming back? No. I just wanted to see you. But you can't say to anyone that I was here. I was using Eugene's ham radio with, with Rosita's help, trying to somehow find you. You found me. You left because you were being judged for things you did in your past instead of who you were trying to be. But I was up to something, and you trusted me. Rick brought you in because he believed that people could change. He called you one of us. He died trying to bring people together. Did she he died? Did she tell him? Bridge. He had to destroy it to stop an incoming herd. He was caught in the explosion. My mistake wasn't trusting you. It was losing my faith in you. Can you forgive me for that? What about all the people that can't forgive you? What about the ones that you made gone? How do you live with that? Uh, I'm in shock that this is what we're seeing right now. Right? I can't talk about the things I've been a part of. Things I will be a part of. Not even to your people? No, not without telling them about all of you. You can talk to me. Clergy confidentiality. You weren't even here, Anne. I forgive you. Wow. I mean... <laughs> it's starting to, like, make my brain scramble. Oh, oh, what? Not her. How did she find him? You think she's alone? She's alone. And I bet nobody knows she's here. That's just rude. How do you think she found us? The circumstances of your disappearance together were suspicious. So I'm back with the reclamation team. Oh, fuck. I saw the wreck. I felt like a profound moment. Strange the things your brain remembers in a moment like that. The smell of ozone, spider on the floor of a helicopter. And a yellow truck sitting there. I had this nagging feeling. I insisted on going back, but I wouldn't pull anyone away from the summit. It's too important. Flew myself to the nearest jump point, supplied up, parked the emergency vehicle there. The crash site was rubble. When I returned, then I saw he left breadcrumbs. Ramen wrappers? All the way down Highway 90? Jeez. See, I've been thinking about someone else I killed. A confidant. What? As a person who will help turn the world, I left things unsaid between us. I didn't want to do that before I killed both of you. She tried to say that she killed Father Gabriel. I am decorated warrant officer Jada Stokes of the Civic Republic Military, defender of the Republic. You're doing this for you, Anne. No, for the Republic. If I would let you go home and somehow some other enterprising warrant officer were to find you, my connection with Alexandria would be discovered and that important work would end. No one would find out. I saved your life. 
You psycho. You took it from him. You took it from me. You took it from our children. All those years they grew up without their father. All those years I didn't know if he was alive or dead. You stole our family, Anne. I didn't kill you in your sleep because I wanted, I needed to thank you. By dying here today, Alexandria will remain safe and your children will have a better world. You didn't lose here. You won a different way. It's the end of your story. Let that be your piece. Bitch. Oh. 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 No. Rick. We gotta go. Holy shit. How's Rick's wife doing? Michelle, she's away helping people. Why'd you call her his wife? Wasn't she? Not officially, but that matters anymore. It's funny. One day Rick said that I should marry them. Maybe we should do it right there on the bridge that we were building. I couldn't see the future he described, so I sat on a log in the forest, and there at my feet was a ring. It seemed like it'd make a pretty nice wedding ring, so I kept it. And I thought to put it someplace that Rick would find it, because I could suddenly see that someday. But what happened happened. I have spent the last year looking forward to our next visit, sitting here and talking. Almost makes me feel like how it was, like who I was. The other 364 days back there, it's less about personal connection and more about responsibility to something greater than myself. Even if that means I have to do things that are difficult, even cruel. Dude. Expressing doubts. Isn't that a sign that that isn't who you are? Knowing they're doing wrong. It means that it's about survival and that part of me that I've harnessed. It has kept me alive and maybe it can keep the rest of the world alive too. Is she trying to pitch him on the CRM? Right? I'm not even here. Please know that my remorse is real. As you do cruel and difficult things. This episode is over. Take this with you. I need to do a little math on timelines. You've been questioning things. This is a symbol of faith, of love. Maybe it'll give you something you need. Giving it to you is giving me something that I need. Next year, same day, same place. If I'm alive. Dang. Because the bridge was eight years. Yeah. To where we are with Rick and Michonne. Right. And that was two years prior. Oh, we're in a car chase. I don't know if it's high speed, but it's definitely speed chase. You can't kill her. Oh, we can. I told you she left a file about home for the CRM to find. To destroy Alexandria. She destroys. She robbed us of you being there to see your son being born, taking his first step. Pit maneuver. Hope she was bluffing, hopefully, that she didn't actually leave anything behind and that was just all a threat. Oh, God. Pull the e-brake, spin, and then come right Oh, now. tree. Oh, I thought that was a tree. Holy shit. <laughs> that got me. Oh. Oh. She said fuck. Oh, these are pretty walkers. Oh. Oh. You gotta love that fucking blade in there. Very handy. Yes. I see what you did there. Oh, hello. Oh. Good god damn. You look like a pile of hippo shit, sister. <laughs> a pile of hippo shit? Holy crap. I've been pursued by some very dangerous people. I just... Need a little help. My community is safe. Uh, it has walls and food, and I can offer you a place that if you just if you just get me somewhere, it's not far. How far is not far? It's just a few miles. You're tall. This feels bad. Because now Jadis is probably sweet talk that group. Right. Talking about how scary Rick and Michonne and how dangerous they are. Even though they totally helped you. And they let you live after you tried to 
Rob kill them. them. You say Rob, I say kill. Decoy. I'm sorry, she promised she'd take us with her. All we had to do was lure you in here. We're not like you. We wouldn't have made it on our own. People are a resource. Whatever she said, it's not what you think it is. People are a resource. There's still time to roll this back. Goodbye, Rick. Once again, y'all. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Dude, the walkers in this episode are nasty. Mm -hmm. Legit nasty. I half thought you wouldn't show up this time. And after what I denied you, I wouldn't have blamed you. I was sharp. And I don't pretend to understand your community or your commitment to them. But I do know something about that part of yourself that you're scared of losing. What if it's already gone? Every year I come back here, I've done worse things. I know why they're done. I believe in what we're trying to do. There's the plan and the why, and then there's the blood. I'm here. I can't. And if I can't, I'm not here. It's like, how about you stop bringing up shit you can't talk about? <laughs> Can I confide in you? Of course. I look forward to these days to have this, to have you, to myself, this secret. Why don't you come with me back to Alexandria? Gabriel. Nobody needs to know about your community, about anything. I can't, for all the reasons that I've already told you. That's just it. You haven't told me anything about your group. Do you think that the purpose of what we do is to make people suffer? Yes. Yes. Would I be part of a group like that? Yes. 100%. Is that what you think of me? Yes. No. Absolutely. I know you're not them. Yes, she is. I did this. This was me. I'm sorry I came here. I'm sorry I made myself vulnerable. I'm sorry for turning you into a loose end. Bitch. <gasps> no fucking way. What? What? You two together? You are unstoppable. That won't save your kids. You're not looking so good, girl. Kill me. They're dead. I died by my wounds. They're dead. I get killed by walkers. They're dead. Just make her wonder. Just a little bit. Just make her wonder. Damn. It didn't have to be this way. You're on the path, Rick. This bitch is wild. Beal saw it too. He was gonna give you the echelon briefing the moment you returned. Your eyes would have been opened to the true size and scope of what the CRM is gonna do to bring this world back. She's just talking shit. Yeah, don't listen. All you had to do was leave when Rick arranged for your escape, but you didn't. And now here we are. I've chosen my community. I've chosen my life. So who's gonna die today? You, bitch. The two of you? <laughs> no. Or me? Yes. And everyone back home? No. She's asking a lot of questions and I've got all the answers. I'm just telling you. You just nailed it. I think you got all of those right. I didn't want to see it. I wanted her dead, so I didn't have to see it. But Rick, there has to be a sacrifice. Since I found you, all that I've done has been for us. But now I see this can't end with us going home. Oh, she's talking loud. <laughs> okay. There's still a deal to be made. Michonne gets some supplies to keep you alive long enough to get you to the jump point. And I'll go back with you. We'll say I was injured in the crash, the lone survivor. And I'll go back to the CRM. So working for a future like none of this ever happened on one condition. Michonne gets away and I never tell them about Alexandria. How are they gonna pull this shit off? I mean, I know they're like bullshitting right now. Why should I trust you? Yeah. After all the shit that you've pulled. We got a deal or not? Yeah, we got a deal. There's no way she falls for it that easily. Right? 
<laughs> You've looked better. I was a fool to think I could take you down with you two together. Which is why I agreed to your deal. Her getting the med kit. Shit. I don't trust you either. But I respect you. <laughs> If you're lying to yourself, shoot me. Make me understand. Show me who you are. Drop it. Oh, shit. I said, drop it. <sighs> drop the gun, or I will kill you. Even if it means that Alexandria is destroyed. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, our, our new friends. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can't cut off that limb to survive. You could. <laughs> Not and survive. Everything I've ever had, I've lost. My people, my friends. Ooh, oh, that the was grinder. I remember the grinder. So nasty. I was tired of losing. I was finally part of something that could last. I couldn't lose another community. My old one, my new one. If I didn't kill you all, somehow, some way, you come for the CRM. So I drew up the dossier to protect myself and make sure you couldn't. I thought in my death it was worth it. I had chosen a side, right? Back and forth, Jadis and Alexandrian's CRM. She does not. That would have been a whack ass way for Father Gabriel to die. Word. Just saying. He came to me to help you find an answer. He just found it. I'll see you next year, Ann. Nope. He already showed me. I found my answer. The dossier. It's in my room at the Cascadia base. It's just destroy it and go home. The CRM will bring the world back. Tell me you won't come after them. No, because we are coming for them. We're going to get the dossier, and then... She's trying to the CRM. Stab that knife and twist it. We're going to stop them. He's going to get the Echelon briefing and find out everything that they do that the city doesn't know about, and we're going to help the city stop them. Wow. The CRM is not the answer, and they must end. Wow. We're gonna do that. So he's gonna go back. Wow. You've kept us alive for a reason. Mm. Mission didn't work. Wish order. I died an artist. Michonne didn't want her dying. Aww. I know. Delusional. It was just about truth. This is mine. The end of my story. She's a great artist. My peace on the bridge. You told Gabriel you wanted to marry her. He found this and he wanted to give it to you. How did you? You weren't dreaming, right? Go ahead. Do what you said you would do. <laughs> this is wild. Honestly, I, I mean, I was wrong. Like, you know, make that very clear. I was wrong. Which part? About her being in love with him. Oh. So long, Jadis. This is a weird ass journey with ya. Oh, man. What a ride. Word. I always found her to be very interesting. Honestly, I mean, she's entertaining. What she said to me before in front of her, it wasn't just for her. Together, the whole damn world, I see how we could make it better. And if we can, we have to. I've been wanting to say something. It's a broken world, and you're the only thing that puts it back together. Uh. Till my last. 
last breath I am yours. Aww. Even in the apocalypse. Romance. It could only ever have been you. Make it official. <laughs> I'm yours. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, Wait. Gabe. No Jadis. But is Rick and Michonne going to show up? Left the rock with an A on it. I was kind of hoping Gabe would cross paths with them somehow. Right. But doesn't feel like that's happening. Wow. That was a. Uh, we have one episode left. I know. How the hell? <laughs> like, I, just, I feel like there should be so much more. I uh, there's no way there's not another season of this. You have to. Because it's like to. you can't have Rick infiltrate the CRM, take his position back, get the briefing, and then take over the CRM in one episode. Right? I mean... Uh, that feels maybe. like a lot. <laughs> I think maybe you'll that get that feels in like an a hour? really tall task. Maybe 45 minutes? I don't know. Got this. But uh, I was blown away to see Gabe. That was like, wait, very I was shocked. Very surprise. It was very nice to see you. Shocking though. Mm -hmm. It was just one of those like, wait, what the hell is like, what is happening right now? I thought it's she like, was when she was talking about like I killed and I, I I had that so wrong. I thought she was like, did I, you kill Gabe? I that would have jerk. You killed him. It got close to that. It that would have been a whack ass way for Gabe to die. Honestly, the worst. That would have been really bad. Yeah. If. They killed him in a flashback in this show. Just, that would suck. Yeah, but, he I mean, deserves so much more than that. But he he proved to be a really important aspect of the story in this show, in this specific episode. The fact that Jadis and him were meeting yearly was pretty interesting. And, and, and excuse me, that, and. I mean, she switched back and forth between Jadis and Anne, but really... That was Anne. Yeah. Until he she pulled the gun out and then that was Jadis. Right. But then she went right back to Anne. Just the fact that, like, Gabe gave her the ring and talking about Rick and Michonne and then, like, by the end, like, Jadis gave the ring to Rick and now Rick's going to give it to Michonne. Like, it came full circle. Like, that was so interesting. But, like, right but, at the end there, it felt weird. Like, is Michonne, like, making sure that Jadis doesn't die, like, delusional? Like, listen, bitch, oh. this is this is what's actually going to happen. But then I wasn't sure if, like, she was telling the truth. Like, yeah, I want Rick to go back. Or that's just bullshit. Or... I think that's legitimately... I think that was a real plan. Yeah. No, I get that part, like, at the end here. But, like, when she was... When Jadis was dying, I was like... She's making sure that you don't even think for one fucking second that CRM is safe. Yeah. Bitch, no. So make her feel horrible on her way out? Exactly. Die, bitch. Honestly. I mean, that... I would, too. I still... I'd be like, like, and your haircut the, is awful. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of this plan... I, I still, I would have probably tried to go back home first, see what's going on there, then maybe try to go back to the, I don't think they like, can there might have been not enough of time. her, of her, I, I, I don't know if I buy that. I don't, I don't know if I fully am like that worried about that. These people have so much to worry about. No, I'm, I'm worried about I, it. I feel like, oh, if fucking Jadis left this paperwork that says, you have to go after this community because they're going to come for you. I feel like that's a, a threat that needs to be taken seriously. Like, if I die, this community is going to come after you. And I don't know how they would know, yeah. but... At the risk of never seeing your children. No. Like, when you're free and know. detached from everything, I would try to find a way to get home. And again, time is... But then you wouldn't want to leave them. And then you had to move an entire community. What if CRM got to them first and you would never see but, them anyway? That's the thing. I'm, I'm betting on the idea that they wouldn't. That's, like, this would take time because they'd probably put an investigation first, see where Jadis went, look into that, and then find her stuff way later. That's what I think would play out. I, I don't, don't know. What if every single time she leaves, she just leaves it like perfectly opened, like in her room? Mm. 
And it's like, and then uh, when she comes back, oh, close it back up for another day. Yeah. I don't know. I just, maybe I'm just underestimating the value of that threat, but I'm like, get back home, see what the hell's going on there, and then try to figure out a way to get back at it. I don't know. That whole aspect of the story, I'm just... If they want to come for us, let them come for us. We'll figure it out. Because again, they have... Rick and Michonne have so many resources back home that they don't even know about at this point. Okay, There's but they so have much the helicopters and, and guns and machine guns. But I mean, and... but they have Commonwealth. Yeah, like, that, but... Doesn't that feel like at least somewhat of an ability to put up a fight? No. I don't know. We'll see. I don't see. think so. I don't know. Like, it, again, it's just... That part of the story is just... I'm like, ah, just take the risk. That's where I would be. I'd be like, just take the risk. No, I don't think I, I mean, I, you know, I, I would never leave my With the risk of him going, with. having to go back? I No, that <sighs> risk. I don't want him, I don't want him to go back, but also, like, if it keeps him away from Alexandria just a little longer. But that's the whole, that's like my whole point is like, this plan is from where we just left them, hugging, saying we're married, he's got to go play decoy now. And figure out, like, oh, hey, I'm the last one standing. I'm alive. Well, Give me the briefing now. Aren't they going back together? They're going to go do this together. Yeah, I just... That's what she said. She was like, we <sighs> we can do this. I just don't know how that works with what has gone down. I don't know. I, I He's been gone a long time. There's just a lot of questions that they're not going to have good answers for, I feel like. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes, Where what happens. I would go back home and try to hunker down and try to figure out what the hell's going down. And then just plan from there. But that's just me. I don't know. But I thought that was another good episode. Yeah, very good. I thought it was very interesting. I just, one episode left. I mean, my assumption is that they're going to have something happen in the finale. And then they're going to leave us with season two. Yeah. Like the announcement for season two is going to be at the end. And it's going to be a shit cliffhanger. And I'm going to be <laughs> real upset. <laughs> I mean, every other spinoff has ended that way. So I don't know why this one wouldn't. Correct. So we'll see. But I still love seeing Rick. I love oh. it. I love it so much. And I love seeing Rick and Michonne together. It feels like the good part of Walking Dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like we got good Rick in this episode too. Yeah. When he was Dude, like talking he some trash. He doesn't age. He looks so great. Sorry, Andrew Lincoln. You're killing it. Yeah. Again, really good. So much to do before we like wrap up in this finale. Don't know what's going to happen. I'm nervous for the whole thing. Did the summit happen? Is that safe to assume? I, I think it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. Okay. Because, again, like the fact that Rick's going to get this briefing, he's probably another promotion potentially. If that, if what Jada said was true, mm. who knows? I mean, again, it felt like the way to bring down the CRM is to build yourself to the top and just crumble it from the bottom, top down. Right. Because you can't do it from the bottom up. Like, it's too big, too powerful. There's too many people involved. But I don't know. We'll see. The series has been awesome. It's been really good. Rick and Michonne together. After Michonne has cracked him out of that funk, yep. much better. Yep. Anything else? No. All right, y'all. You guys share all your thoughts. Leave your comments. We'll catch you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.